So with a pencil very lightly, draw your concentric ovals. I'm going very fast because my video is sped up, but do it very lightly and very carefully all over your paper. You want them to look like rain puddles and you start with a smaller one and go outward. And then you're gonna take a crayon, a white crayon, and press down very hard so that you are making a resist. If you have oil pastels, that would work even better. But you wanna press down very hard and go over each one of those lines and press down very, very hard because we are making our picture look like David Hockney's rain puddles. You can see I'm going over each and every line. And then I forgot to do something and then I'm gonna tell you to do it now before I start painting, but I had forgotten to do it. You can make lines, make them look like raindrops. And you'll see I start to do that right after I start painting. I'm like, oops, I forgot. And you want your paint to be very thin. You don't want it to be very thick because the thinner the paint, the more the resist will show up. So you wanna thin it out and you can use very different colors of blue. I use light blue, I use dark blue, I use kind of a blue green because I want it to look um, also like a piece of art, not just, so you can see here I'm going in and I'm very hard putting in some raindrops which look like lines that go on a diagonal which means they're not straight up and down. And then I go over and I very lightly with a wash color over my painting. Now the reason why I'm going over lightly is because it's always easier to go darker, but you can't go lighter. So I start out light, and if I want to, I can go darker, but I can't go lighter. So it's always easier to build up color. If I think I need to go darker, I can go darker, but I won't be able to go lighter. So I want you to learn that trick that if you want to go darker, you can go darker, but you can't go lighter. So I start out very light and I'm mixing my shades of blue. And then at the very end, you're going to see me take a paper towel or a piece of Kleenex and I'm going to blot it, which means tap, tap, tap it around my paper to make a very cool effect to make it look like it's rained or it, it's kind of modeled around and it leaves a very cool effect on my paper and it just it's a little bit different than the salt and it just makes it look a little bit different and a little bit more interesting good luck I cannot wait to see how yours turns out and if they look like David Hockney's